Blessings and beatitude. AK-47 rifle seized. Courtroom Casanova arrested after proposal. Also coming up, inside of me feel hollow. Mother in tears as her 37-year-old daughter, Odette Harris, goes M-I-S-S-I-N-G after heading to the bank. That and more. And trust me when I say you don't want to miss your analysis on those stories. So stick around for the details right after the intro. But remember, if you're new to the channel, if it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe. Plus, click the notification bell and while doing so, select option all. So that way, you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activities on our channel. And also remember to give this video a like for YouTube algorithm. Blessings and more beatitude. Book at it. So an AK-47 rifle and a magazine containing six 7.62 rounds of ammunition has been seized by members of the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch during an operation in Little London, Westmoreland on Monday, March 15. So investigations are ongoing. Happy Redance, one more weapon off the street. Hope has returned in many more lives. So please ensure you're subscribed to the channel in order to stay abreast with what is going on in and around Jamaica. I'll keep you updated. And as we head on up to St. Andrew, Miss Barbara Flowers has been miserably uncomfortable, including sleepless nights, after receiving news that her firstborn, 37-year-old Odette Harris, has gone MIA. She disappeared as in magic. Harris. A popular player in the local netball community had left her house in Barbican St. Andrew to do a transaction at a bank in Alpha Tree, so she boarded one of the popular route taxis which operate in the area. Information also confirms that her husband sent her to draw some money, but sadly, she never reached into the bank. It was a failed mission. So her mother, Miss Barbara Flowers, is now wondering if the taxi man had anything to do with her disappearance. She also stated that she called her the same day and the phone rang unanswered. It rang three times and then it cut off. So she got more curious and sent her a message and the message read, but she didn't get a reply. So um, the worried mother, who now lives in the United States of America, said it is not like her daughter to fail to respond to her messages. That's not her. And even more worrying is that um, Harris has not contacted her only child, which is a young woman. So it is now becoming more traumatic for everyone because things doesn't seem bright. She says that she's more than stressed, she can't sleep, her inside is now feeling hollow. Miss Flowers, the mother, was also a top rated netballer while she was in Jamaica and she's also the mother of three beautiful girls and according to her, the disappearance of her daughter was reported to the police within 24 hours and investigators have indicated that they're actively on the case. So the following Friday, the police journeyed to her home and took some statements and did some fingerprints and all the necessaries. But as a mother, she held on to the hope that the cops will find her daughter alive. However, it is very nerve-wracking for her because she has been through a similar ordeal before. So she is praying that this doesn't end the same way. As in flashbacks are now in effect on her mental health. Her previous experience, um, her similar encounter, was when two of her nephews went missing in Spanish Town St. Catherine and their leftovers were later found with multiple wounds after their abduction. So Miss Flowers is traumatized to the point where she started thinking all random actions that her daughter wouldn't normally participate in. Like she has said maybe she gone or some friend go steal or maybe um, she had things on her mind because she doesn't want to think um, anything ill. And as the grandmother, she is especially worried about the mental state of her granddaughter who is the only child of her daughter that is nowhere to be found. So on behalf of the JDF, the Jamaican Display family, we are hoping for a positive return and if she's held hostage anywhere, I hope they'll find it in their conscience to release her breathing. 
And I'm not saying he has anything to do with it, but I would also investigate the husband, read his eyes, watch his body language as he speak, and like always, the truth is the truth, and that is that. Now I have a very disturbing incident that I want to talk about in which a man who proposed to his girlfriend in court back in January as he answered to charges of ASSAULT is now in lockup. Them lock him up, as in he has been arrested. After him proposed him girlfriend in a court, them lock him up. Stick around, let me tell you why. On January 21, Mr. Andre Chantelope proposed to his girlfriend, Nisha Morrison, just moments after he was called to defend himself against the charges stemming from a December incident in which he fling up some lick banar. The proposal was very emotional as expected, so it had persons teary eyed with some stared in admiration and ah, oh, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, yeah. So after proposing, in the presence of the judge, Chantillo vowed before the court that his actions would not be repeated. However, on March 1, the 36 year old allegedly broke the vow, as Miss Morrison said that he choked her, him did a try to lock off her breath. He did it so aggressively that the young lady's neck had scratches etc. She also mentioned that one of, one of the times she could not breathe. All she heard was voices over her head saying, let her go, you are go K-I-L-L-R. She's going to pass out, let her go, let her go. But Andre, in hold on for life. So according to Miss Nisha Morrison, his proposal in court was just a show. It was just a manipulation so everyone could have some sympathy on him because he kept on doing the same thing over and over again. And for that sake, the Kingston Central Police have confirmed that Mr. Chantelope was arrested last week and even after his proposal, Miss Morrison was still considering if she should take him back, if she should take back this man because she know how capricious his mental state is and how he can get off at any time. So she asked for some time from the relationship and she's very lucky because we saw what Raheem Woodhouse did to Miss Tamika Richards over in Spanish Town after she asked for a break from their entanglement. She was M-U-R-D-E-R-E-D -E -E cold. Now back to the incident at hand. So during that break she asked for, during that hiatus, she took the necessary time to rethink smartly and decided that she wanted to call it quit. She no longer wanted to be involved with this man. So she make him aware, she told him that she's no longer interested so he can go ahead and move on with his life because she will be doing the same. She think it is safer and more beneficial if they go their separate ways. However, in return, him reply and say, him na give up. So she say, alright then, I'm going to make the first move and show you something serious. So what she did was um, she stopped taking his calls and she blocked him from her phone com in completion entirely because whenever he called, nothing that he's saying is not relevant anymore. In other words, she divorced her feelings. So what ignites the flame on the night in question is when Mr. Andre Chantelo contacted their son via a phone call saying that he's planning to come drop off his monthly allowance him forward with the money. So she kept her cool because the money was needed and even after the phone call he didn't turn up, he was taking some time to show up. So um, she took it on her own self to go on the road to get the money because the kids really needed some stuff. And when she returned, she saw him standing outside her gate waiting on her and he popped the question, the question that any jealous, obsessive man would ask, where you come from? And she gave him the answer that will drive him crazy. He got the answer that makes his heart skip a beat. It pulls out his anger when she replied to him saying, that's my personal business. So when he heard that, he started to go up in her face. He started to get boisterous all up in his feelings. His demeanor has changed. She could see the E-V-I-L in his eyes. So she started to step backwards in an attempt to get away from him. And by the time she turned around to try and get away, he held onto her hand and pulled her in. Then he grabbed her throat and started to apply the pressure and start to squeeze out her life. While trying to K-I-L hell her, he was heard saying, Me carry money, come forgive you. I ain't a dead woman. You're gone about your business. You want me K-I-L-L you. But luckily, she managed to escape. And um, as a couple, they have been together for 14 years and have two children. However, Miss Morrison said that she has been through a lot with him and she don't wish to do it anymore because this man is an actor, all he do is put on a show. And I would recommend the same decision because um, we see how these men meditate as a matter of fact, enough of them now will not meet. Or else, the mother knows if you make a woman go on if she want to live. 
So tell me what do you think, leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section and also remember that if you are new to the channel and it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way you will be first in line to be notified about each and every activities on our channel on this channel. And also remember to give this video a like like always for YouTube algorithm. Blessings and more beatitude. Book at it.